could be something to be with you. I'd be entertained. Yeah, baby, I'm fall asleep with you. Can we wake up late? Hi guys, we're here with Kieran and we're filming for Virgo Media TV. So, Kieran, would you like to introduce yourself and what you do? Hey, what's up? Um, my name is Kieran and um, I produce, sing, um, dance, do a little photography on the side, graphic design. <laughs> if anything creative, um, I mess with heavy, so yeah. <laughs> Where would you say that your love for, mu for music came from? Um, I'd say my love for music came from, I guess just my, my dad has like endless LPs in, in the garage, in, in the loft. And I feel like just just from him, he was a musician and my biological mum was a musician as well. So I, I think it, it really isn't like the blood, like honestly, but um, and my older brother's a singer. But um, <laughs> nice. so yeah, like I, I, it really is in the blood, but I, I used to go to perform and art school and I used to do like, dancing and stuff like that. And um, for a short while I was in the West End, so. I played um, played MJ, young Michael Jackson in Villa. Nice. So um, yeah, it was really good. Okay, it was, really fun. It was a good experience. I think we've seen on uh, some of your Instagram posts. I think there was a sort of like Michael Jackson themed yeah, sort of yeah. post. Yeah, um, yeah. So that would make uh, sense then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of um, so when you first started producing music, what was your sort of uh, would you say your first um, notable single? My first notable single was, it was, now looking back, it was so funny looking back, but um, my first notable single was a song called Type of Way that I had like made with a few friends and like we feel like we were going to be famous. <laughs> and it was, I was 16 and me uploaded it and um, it clearly didn't do well because we didn't think of like <laughs> the repercussions. But um, yeah, it was my first notable single and it, it did well. Um, um, I, now I'm just starting over. I feel like a fresh start is, a, is something that I, I I really want just because I was a different person then and I was naive and young. And now I think I know like exactly where my head is at and what I want to do. So If you didn't become a musician, uh, what would you be doing now? Or um, probably like a professional dancer. Probably a professional dancer or a producer. But yeah, um, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> it makes me feel weird. Um, I love singing so much. On your style, like what sort of inspires your unique style? Uh, you notably use a lot of like VHS themed videos. Like yeah. what kind of got you into that? What um, inspires? I think a lot of old school 90s throwback music um, really um, has some, some songs that just literally the soundtrack of my life. Like, um, it's just the emotion in 90s music and, and the, the culture and the style of, of which um, 90s, like the 90, 90s held. Um, it was very like careless and that's the type of person that I am. Yeah, I just the music like speaks for itself. Literally, right? <laughs> like, music like that, I just love making. And uh, how long have you actually been in the industry then? I know we touched about sort of what brought you into the industry, but yeah, in terms yeah. of length, how long? Um, I, I would say taking it professionally, like writing, producing for artists and stuff, um, 16. But as a hobby, yeah, I would say around 13, 14. Um, and if you had a choice of uh, musicians to kind of collab with, um, this could be anyone. Honestly, I have a <laughs> list, like a list, but um, I'd say Realistically, M and E K would be one. E K, okay. Um, or Kaylani, I love uh, her yes. so much. Uh, like yes. she's my inspiration. And the scene at the moment is dope. Like yeah. the UK scene is doing really well at the moment. Is it all music, or is it? <laughs> have you got time for other like recreational? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> someone literally asked me this today, and I was like, oh wow, like music has literally become my life. But um, I do like bowling every week with my team. We go bowling every week just because, like, we're all in the studio locked up, and like, um, it can be scrutinized and it can be like very, like, we're in one space at one time, and we're all creative, and creative people don't really like being at one space. 
at a time so we go bowling <laughs> <laughs> just because so yeah coming back to the current sort of industry what are your sort of thoughts on the way that things are going now for like um mm. alternative hip-hop maybe rap and underground producers what's your um, thoughts yeah, like they're they're doing their they're doing their thing. I think it's a support thing. I feel like if um, we all as upcoming artists or even artists that are established come together and support each other, then like um, we all win. We all win. So yeah, I think that's just one thing that like just needs to be done. And uh, would you prefer to go to uh, like a music concert or like a perform at a sort of hidden secret venue? I prefer to, I feel like it's a more humble setting when it's a closed up setting. Also, I get really anxious when there's like arenas and people are screaming. Oh but like, don't get me wrong, I love a good concert, like a concert oh, yeah. is sick. But um, <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't know, small venues are cool because you seem like you're more in touch with like the artist's vibe and what they're, they're like. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you recently featured on a track by Alyssa. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, tell us a bit about that. It's called yeah. Even If. Yeah, like the process of like producing and um, like arranging that song and even featuring it was dope. Like Alyssa's so sick. I, I knew her before we even like collabed on this song. I'm, like, with, really close friends so um it was just a breeze to make like honestly like um i think it was she had an idea for a song that she knew that i i could execute correctly and um we just got to work like honestly she messaged me a melody and i was like no I, like call me at eight o'clock and i produced ended up producing the, the, the main like xylophone melody and i came back and she like like fell in love with it and then the next day <laughs> we recorded and made her go over some harmonies and little like melodies and stuff like that and out came the song. <laughs> so yeah. And that's available to download or buy uh, yeah. rather on um, Apple Music, Spotify, I think all major platforms I think. But yeah. Get it. <laughs> but like yeah, um, it was dope. It was it was so dope. Do you think you could get any better as a musician? And if so, how would you achieve it? Honestly, um, I think it's just all about just just progressing. Um, it would be just who you're surrounded by. Like like with me, like I really sadly, I just had, some people really didn't like benefit me in 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 progressing with who I want to be, and that's okay. Like sometimes it's cool to to really to just focus on what you're doing. And um, honestly, I think one of my closest friends told me this, but. Um, if it doesn't benefit you, and I, I stick by this, but if it doesn't benefit you, and if it doesn't get you money, it doesn't make you happy in any way, then it's not gonna make you progress, and it's not gonna be a substantial thing in your life that's gonna help you flourish. That's a good message. <laughs> yeah, just lastly, if you had one message to give to your fans, what would it be? Please don't let no one tell you that you can't do anything. Like, anyone can do anything. Oh, that's so cheesy. <laughs> but honestly, anyone can do anything, like, like for real, just, like... Just give it your own. Yeah, like... <laughs> awesome. Uh, thank you very much. And yeah, this is Eris Herbert, VMTV, signing off. Promises, I wanna keep with you. It's funny, it's funny. It's funny, it's funny. Every time that you say my name, when you say my name.